Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's work on solving a system of linear equations by substitution. And basically, here's what we're going to do. We're going to first rewrite one of the equations and isolate one variable. Then we're going to substitute the rewritten equation into the other equation. Then we're going to solve this new equation. Then we're going to take the answer from 3 and find the value of the other variable by substitution. So let's get started. So I'm going to first rewrite one of the equations. So I'll write a 1 here for step 1. So why don't we rewrite this equation here because it looks fairly simple. So I've got negative x minus y equals negative 2. So I'm going to uh, isolate the x. So first I'm going to add a y. Okay. So these cancel, bring down negative x equals negative 2 plus y. Now, I need to divide by negative 1 because, you know, the negative sign is like a negative 1. And when I do this, I have x equals a negative and negative is a positive 2 minus y because a negative and a positive. So now I have a value for x. Okay, so let's rewrite this. So I have 2x, so I'm going to go 2 times 2 minus y, and then I have a plus 3y equals 2. So this is like step 2, where I'm substituting the rewritten equation, this rewritten equation, into the other uh, linear equation right there. So now I'm going to distribute, so we have 4 minus 2y plus 3y equals 2. Now I can combine like terms. So when I do that, I have 4 um, and negative 2y and a positive y equals plus y equals 2. I'll subtract 4 from both sides. Okay, these cancel. y equals negative 2. So now I have an answer for y. Now I'll go with step 3. I'm going to solve the new uh, equation. So I have y, so I'm going to plug y in and see if I can't figure out x. Okay, so I have 2x plus 3 times y, which is negative 2 equals 2. Okay, so this would be like step 3. So now we have 2x and a positive negative minus 6 equals 2. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 6 to each side. Okay, these cancel. I'll bring 2x equals 8, and then divide through by 2, and x equals 4. So now I have x is 4, y is negative 2. Now let's check our work. And here's how I'm going to check the work. I'm going to plug it into the equation I didn't use. So I have a negative x, and x is, is negative, it is 4. So I have a negative 4 minus y, which is negative 2. A negative and a negative is a positive 2 equals negative 2. A negative 4 and a positive 2 does indeed equal negative 2. So the solution is correct. I hope that was helpful.